The Bravo Reflux Testing System is a minimally invasive test for evaluation of heartburn or related symptoms. Your doctor will analyze results of your test and determine the cause of your symptoms and a treatment that's right for you. After administering light sedation, your doctor will attach a Bravo Reflux capsule to your esophagus. The small capsule, roughly the size of a multivitamin, will remain in place temporarily. If you have a nickel allergy, please report this to your doctor. The Bravo capsule will record acid levels in your esophagus and send the information to the recorder that you will wear during the test. Once the Bravo Reflux capsule has been placed, you will be instructed how to use the Bravo Reflux recorder to record meals, lying down, and symptoms. Then you can leave your doctor's office and go about your normal activities. The purpose of this test is to monitor how often food and liquid comes up backwards from your stomach during a normal day. To get the most accurate results, you must eat, drink, work, and exercise as normal. But keep in mind the following exceptions. Please limit the amount of drinks between meals and don't sip soda, fruit drinks, or alcohol over long periods of time. Don't chew gum or suck on hard candy. You can take a bath or shower, but don't get the recorder wet. Don't take any antacid or anti-reflux drugs during your study unless instructed by your doctor. Don't have an MRI during or after this test for 30 days. If MRI is medically necessary, you will need to have an X-ray prior to make sure the Bravo capsule has passed. To help provide your doctor with as much meaningful information as possible, it's important you record your activities and symptoms using the Bravo Reflux Recorder and written diary. Please follow your doctor's recommendations about taking or not taking your reflux medication during your test. All button functions are active only when the display is backlit. If the display is not backlit, it means the recorder is in sleep mode. Any button will bring the recorder out of sleep mode and it will turn the backlight on. Then, pressing the desired button will record the chosen event. Meals and lying down are durational events. They are activities with beginning and end times. To record the start of a meal period, press any button to turn the backlight on, then press the fork and knife button on the recorder. Write down the start time displayed on the recorder in the patient diary and place a mark in the meal column. Please note that the start time must match the time displayed on the recorder. At the end of the meal period, press any button to turn the backlight on, then press the fork and knife button on the recorder again. Write down the end time displayed on the recorder in the patient diary next to the start time entered earlier. Please note that the end time must match the time displayed on the recorder. Record a meal every time you eat or drink anything during the test. Drinking any beverage should be within meals. If you have a drink outside your meals, you should log this as a meal in the same way. To record the start of a lying down period, press any button to turn the backlight on, then press the bed button on the recorder. Write down the start time displayed on the recorder in the patient diary and place a mark in the lying down column. Please note that the start time has to match the time displayed on the recorder. At the end of the lying down period, press any button to turn the backlight on, then press the bed button on the recorder again. Write down the end time displayed on the recorder in the patient diary next to the start time entered earlier. Please note that the end time has to match the time displayed on the recorder. Record a lying down period whenever you lay down or recline lower than 45 degrees. During the test, you may experience symptoms. Possible symptoms may include heartburn, regurgitation, and chest pain. 
To record a symptom event, press any button to turn the backlight on, then press the appropriate symptom button on the recorder. Write down the start time displayed on the recorder in the patient diary and place a mark in the correct symptom column. Please note that the start time has to match the time displayed on the recorder. It's not necessary to continuously press the symptom button and write down the corresponding times for the same symptom event. The green indicator light at the bottom of the shape button will turn on for three seconds and a beep will sound from the Bravo Reflux recorder. This tells you that the symptom was recorded. During the test, you must stay within three feet of the Bravo Reflux recorder. If the Bravo Reflux recorder is too far away from the Bravo Reflux capsule and reception is weak, the receiver will beep for 30 seconds and the number one disappears from the screen. Move the recorder closer to you until the beeping stops and the number one reappears on the display. You will also see a red, orange flash below the square button. This indicates that the recorder is out of range. You will need to reconnect the recorder by holding the recorder to your chest until the flash turns blue. You can remove the Bravo Reflux recorder when lying down, or you can leave it on. If you choose to remove it, place it on a stable surface within arm's length of your chest with the display facing up and the symptom buttons facing towards you. You may shower or take a bath during the study, but you must not get the recorder wet. Place the recorder outside the shower or away from the bathtub where it will not get wet. Make sure to reconnect the device by holding the recorder to your chest when you get out of the bath or shower. Be sure the blue light is now flashing under the square. Once the test is complete, return the recorder and patient diary according to your doctor's instructions. Your test data will be analyzed by a computer program, and the results will be sent to your doctor within a few days. Then, you can discuss and review your results with your doctor on your next visit.